Okay, hopefully you can hear me now. Okay, hello. <laughs> what a day. What a last, what a past 24 hours. So, uh, anyway, here I am. And looks like I'm streaming now. So, today is going to be a day of prayer. The Lord is changing things up, I guess. Last night, we, uh, a little history about uh, what's happened in the last 12 hours, 24 hours. Um, let me make sure I'm still working here. Something looks like it's frozen. Live stream. Yes, okay. Looks like it's working on Rumble side, and looks like it's working here. Okay, so uh, this past week we've had the opportunity to pray for some people. I got to pray for some people at the office here. I'm at my office this morning because our internet's down at the house, so I had to run up here. It, it went down last night. was hoping it would be on this morning and come back up. It is, a, it is an attack. We were praying for a pastor last night whose wife came under a, a horrible witchcraft attack, is what I heard from the Lord, and um, we prayed and prayed and prayed, and it broke it off, and she got better, but as soon as we hung up with them... Our internet, our internet was down at the house. We prayed for it, prayed for it, prayed for it. Nothing's happened. So uh, the Lord wants, uh, and then I asked the Lord, you know, am I supposed to, you know, come here to the office, so to speak, and bring forth what I was going to bring forth the message which was supposed to be on disciplining the flesh, and I'm getting from the Lord to, to have a day of prayer. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to pray today, and uh, I'm just going to obey the Holy Spirit. If you have a need for prayer, Post it in the chat room, and um, and I will pray for you specifically. But I'm gonna let the Holy Spirit lead. Uh, I believe uh, I believe Jetta was on there. Was Jetta on, Ann, or did she, was it just been Debbie on this morning so far? You might post in the chat because I don't have any connection right now. Had my phone off because. Uh, I had the reason I'm late here today is because this computer here that I brought up here to use wasn't working right, so I had to reboot it, clear history, and do a bunch of stuff, and uh, now it's functioning at least. So um, anyway, I'm gonna send the Jetta a text here real quick. Um, okay, so I'm gonna begin to pray. And if you'd join me in prayer, and it looks like it may just be uh, two people on there, uh, me and Debbie. <laughs> so I'm glad you're here. Maybe more than that, I don't know, because sometimes people, this thing doesn't give me an accurate count all the time. And uh, Okay. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. We rejoice in all that you've given us and all that you've done. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, King of kings and Lord of lords, for this day. I thank you for the opportunity to pray, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and praise your mighty and holy name. Blessed be your name forever and ever. You overcame death in the grave, and you've given us the opportunity to overcome death in the grave through what you did on the cross, and we thank you for that. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, King of kings and Lord of lords. Almighty One, all majesty and honor are yours forever and ever. Blessed be your name, holy, holy, holy Jesus. Thank you, Father God, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our Father. Thank you, Father, for writing our names in the Lamb's Book of Life. Thank you, Father, for giving us the opportunity to have life everlasting with you through what your Son did on the cross. So blessed be your name, Father God. Thank you for creating this earth, Father. Thank you for creating us. Thank you for breathing life into us. Oh, blessed be your name. We enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. Oh, blessed be your name. Holy is your name. Holy is your name. King of kings and Lord of lords, Jesus, holy is your name. Blessed be your name, Father God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Praise and honor and glory go to you and you alone. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise be to you, praise be to you, praise be to you, my God. Thank you for all things, Father. Thank you, Father, for all things. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, I lift up this... Uh, Day of prayer to you, Jesus. May your word be on our hearts. May the meditation of our minds be upon you all day long. Let us think about you all day long in Jesus' name. 
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God, I cry out for the lost, Lord, in the world. I cry out for the lost, Father God. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray to be saved. Lord, I pray for every man and woman who does not know you, Lord, that the Lord of the harvest would send in laborers into the field, and those laborers would speak to the lost, Father God. In Jesus' name, O Lord. In Jesus' name, Father God, I lift up all those who have come to this ministry in the past. In Jesus' name, I lift them up to you, Lord. I pray over them, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. I pray you have your hand over them and all they touch. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Father God, be with them. Touch them, Lord. Touch them, Father God. I ask for a filling of the Holy Spirit and a refilling of the Holy Spirit upon the body of Christ, Father God. In Jesus' name, Father. In Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, I lift up all those who are going through trials and tribulations, Father God. In Jesus' name, Lord, be with them. Be with us in the valleys. Be with us on the mountaintop. Be with us at all time, as you said you would. You said you'd be with us even to the end of the age. So thank you, Jesus. Lord, I pray that those people who are in the valley right now are my brothers and sisters in Christ. They would just yield to you and know that you are near. Father God, I ask you to deliver them out of the valley now, Father God. Deliver them. Deliver them. Deliver them, O oh Lord, in Jesus Christ's name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God. Loose them, Father God, from the valley that they are in, Father God. Whatever it is, whatever it is, you'll be with us in the valleys. I know you are. And I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you. Oh, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, Father God, I intercede for the world, Father God. I pray the world will be awakened to your Son, Jesus, King of kings and Lord of lords. I pray those who are locked into a religion, Father God, that they would come into a relationship with you and your Son, Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, Lord, I pray for the denominations to be broken off the world, Father God, and to be one body united in Christ, Father God, in Jesus' name, Lord. Because the enemy came in, I believe, to divide the church because through division, he can conquer easier, Father God. In Jesus' name, I pray, Father God, for the body of Christ to be united across the globe, Father God. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Father God, I ask that would be done swiftly, Father God. No delay in that area, Father God. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray for the lost who are in a religion that is a false religion, Father God. I pray they come to know the true Jesus Christ, the King of kings and Lord of lords. I pray for the Mormons, the Jehovah's, Father God, that they would come out of it. Father God, I pray for the Buddhists, the Sikhs, the Hindus, Father God, that they would come to know you, Jesus, the risen Messiah. I pray for your nation of Israel, Father God, who are locked in the old Jewish traditions, that they would come to know Messiah, Jesus, the King of kings and Lord of lords. In Jesus' name, I pray for the Buddhists, Father God, that they would come to know you. I pray for the atheists, Father God, the agnostics, that they would come to know you, Jesus. I pray for every witch and every warlock to turn and repent of their sins and come to know you, Jesus. Lord, I bless all those who would curse the body of Christ right now. I bless them. I bless them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Father God, I pray your light would shatter the darkness within them right now, Father God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Father God. Shatter the darkness in the mighty name of Christ, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for all those who are afflicted and sick in the body of Christ, Lord, that you would heal them, that you would touch them. In Jesus Christ's name, in Jesus' name, Father God, in the mighty name of Christ, touch them, heal them, touch their flesh. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God, heal their flesh right now. Heal their flesh. Heal their flesh. I want to give a testimony right now. The pastor we were praying for last night, his wife, the attack she was under was very severe. She couldn't see. She was dizzy. She couldn't see. You hear that? She couldn't see. She was dizzy and uh, nauseated and uh, couldn't walk. Felt like her spirit was out of her body. And after we prayed, Pastor Chad just texted me, if you heard the beep, beep, beep go off, uh, within an hour, she was back to normal. So praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You are a deliverer. You are the healer. You are all to us. Thank you, Jesus. By your stripes we are healed, Lord. I pray for those who are sick and afflicted right now, Lord. I lift up Ophelia. 
I pray for healing upon that knee right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be healed by the power and the blood of Jesus. Be healed. I lose Holy Ghost fire upon that knee for healing. Body, accept. Accept the body. I speak to her flesh. Accept in Jesus Christ's name. Accept all hardware that was put in her, that artificial knee replacement. Receive it in Jesus' name. Immune system strengthened in Jesus' name. Father God, I lift up all those who are afflicted and sick today. I command healing upon Randa right now. Full healing in Jesus Christ's name. Full healing in Jesus Christ's name. Flesh come in divine order in Jesus Christ's name. I ask for her immune system to be strengthened, her liver to be strengthened, Father God, in Jesus' name. I ask for deliverance upon her, Father God, in Jesus' name, Lord. Liver detoxify all poison that's been put in her. Is there any artificial thing that was put in her body as well in Jesus Christ's name? Lord, I lift up Sean to you, Father God, for healing upon her in Jesus Christ's name and her womb. Father God, I rebuke all spirits of cancer. I command them out of her now by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Leave to the abyss you go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, in Jesus' name, I come against every devil and demon that's come against Sean in Jesus Christ's name. I command you out of her. You're bound. Go to the abyss now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command healing upon Tiffany in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Liver, come in a divine order. Generational spirits, be bound, be bound, be bound. Come out of her mind, soul, and flesh. Loose her soul right now. In Jesus' name, I loose her soul from our heartbreak. In Jesus' name, I bind the love, joy, and peace to her soul now from Jesus Christ right now. I bind it to her soul right now in Jesus' name. I command all loss off of her soul in Jesus' name. Death off her soul in Jesus' name. Infirmity off her soul in Jesus Christ's name. I bind health and healing from Jesus Christ upon her soul now in Jesus' name for the wounds of the past in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray she would just humble herself in the area of pride, Father God, in Jesus' name, Lord. I pray you'd speak to her in that area, Jesus. You are the one to do it, Jesus. I lift up Debbie's son to you, Father God. Lord, I pray he would just uh, give everything to you off his heart. I ask in Jesus' name for the Holy Spirit to move upon him, and he would just release all bitterness and grief off of his heart to you, Jesus. I loose his soul and his heart from bitterness and grief right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be loosed in Jesus' name. Be loosed in Jesus' name. Unforgiveness needs to come off of his heart, too. I don't know if you're still on, Debbie. It doesn't look like you are. But anyway, I speak over him now, Lord. I pray the Holy Spirit will move upon him, Father God. In Jesus' name, Father God, I pray he would just have unforgive, uh, unforgiveness released to you, Father God. I ask in Jesus' name the Holy Spirit move upon him and he would forgive, Father God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That's what's hindering his healing, I hear. He's got unforgiveness. Bitterness and grief. I think it's towards God. Could be wrong. And the Holy Spirit speak to me. And I said, but I told you, I hear yes, my son. So that's where it's rooted at. Oh, Lord, I pray you move upon his heart and he would forgive. He would forgive. He wouldn't blame you for loss in his life, Father God, in Jesus' name. Because you are not the thief. You are not the one that kills, steals, and destroys. It's the enemy, Father God. So I pray he would just be... His eyes would be focused on you, Lord. I loose love. I loose your love upon him right now, Father God, in Jesus' name. I loose your love upon him, in Jesus' name, upon his heart. And I bind your love to his heart, in Jesus' name, Lord. I pray you would come to know you in a new way, Father God, in Jesus' name. I break all rejection off of his heart. I loose his heart from rejection from maybe his own father, in Jesus' name. And maybe brought that upon him, that he would look at you, Father, and feel rejection so right now I pull that off his heart in Jesus name in Jesus name thank you Lord thank you Jesus thank you Jesus oh Lord I lift up all those who are sick and afflicted Lord I speak for over Chantel the blood of Jesus Christ over the blood of Jesus Christ over the blood of Jesus Christ over her in Jesus name Lord I pray that she would um, 
humble herself, Father God, ask for the Holy Spirit to speak to her. I loose her and her heart, mind, soul, and spirit from all generational spirits, from all familiar spirits. I loose her from them in Jesus Christ's name. I loose her from them in Jesus Christ's name. Come off of her heart, mind, soul, spirit, flesh right now. I send you to the abyss. You're bound. I send you to the abyss. I bind the strong man. I send you to the abyss. Out of her in Jesus Christ's name. Every witchcraft cord be broken off of her now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that she would just be drawn back to the position you put her in, Lord. I pray that you would speak to all the men and women of God. Keep us in our position. Let us not uh, stray off the path you've put us on. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Help us to stay on the path that you've put us on in the area you want us to minister in, Father God. In Jesus' name, Lord. I ask for that for the men and women of God all across the globe, Father God. Let us know our position. Let us know our destiny. Let us know our path. Oh, Lord, speak it to us clearly, Lord. Do not hide yourself from us, Father God, as we seek your face, Lord. We ask for revelation, discernment, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding on what our position is in the body of Christ, Father God. Not just me, I speak for all the brothers and sisters of Christ across the globe, Father God. I intercede for them, Lord. You'd show them what their position is and what they are to do, Father God. Let us not get out of position, Father God. In Jesus' name, as you would not allow Paul to go into Asia, Father God. Let us not be off of the path you've put us on, Father God, in Jesus' name, where we can be attacked, Father God, where we've, where we've walked out of your protective hedge, Father God, in Jesus' name. I know we have protection, we have you, the Holy Spirit, but I also understand times and seasons. I understand positions. Even in the Old Testament, Father God, you wouldn't uh, let them move into battle until things were prepared. And they had to be aligned with you, Father God, in Jesus' name. So I pray for the saints across the globe that we would all be in our proper position, Father God. And if we're not, if we're out of position, Lord, I ask you just move upon us to put us in the position where we're supposed to be. Speak to us, Holy Spirit. Speak to us, Lord. Oh, Lord, I ask uh, forgiveness for the saints in the area of stubbornness, Father God, or pride, Father God, in Jesus' name, Lord, including myself, Father God, let us be in your position and your will at all times, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father God, I lift up the Morgan family to you, Father God, the Hawk family to you, Father God, the, the Fox family, Father God, in Jesus' name, the Green family, the Wheatley family, the Bowers, all those who have been involved with this ministry in the past, Father God, <clears throat> the Pattersons, all those, Father God. I lift them all up to you, Father God. Touch them, be with them. Touch them, be with them. I ask for a new anointing, a new filling of the Holy Spirit upon every brother and sister in Christ who's aided us and helped us, Father God. And I lift up the stall bombers, Father God, the whole family. Have your way in the body of Christ, O Lord. Have your way. Have your way, O Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord, I put the blood of Jesus Christ, and I ask you to move upon the Toller family, Father God, and the land, Father God, Janine, Father God, and the husband. O Lord, move upon them. Let peace reign. All spirits of strife, division, contention that have been released against the body of Christ be bound now and come off in Jesus Christ's name. Father God, move in your might and power upon the body of Christ. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I ask, Father God. Oh, Holy Spirit, move upon the body of Christ. Move upon the body of Christ. You've been moving people in their position. Lord, I put the blood of Jesus Christ over the sale of Randa's home, Father God, Eric and Chelsea, Father God. In Jesus' name, Father God, I ask you to bring a buyer swiftly for those properties, Father God, and they, they would get full price for the properties. I ask for blessings to be poured out. You are a God of abundance. I ask for blessings to be poured out upon the body of Christ as you move us into position, Father God. Open up 
the gates and the doors that we're supposed to move into position, Father God. Open them up, I ask, Father God, in Jesus' name. Bring forth finances in the area of the body of Christ, Lord, to bless the widow, to bless the homeless, to bless the orphan, Father God, in Jesus' name, and to provide for them, Father God. In Jesus' name, Lord, I ask you to pour out the finances upon Pastor David and Pastor Enosh and those ministries, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name now, who take care of the orphans, Father God, who in Jesus Christ's name, who care for them, who clothe them, who shelter them, Father God, I ask for funds to come forth, mighty, mighty amounts of money, Father God, so that they can help more, Father God. In Jesus' name, Lord, I bless those ministries in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit in Jesus Christ's name. I ask for funds to come forth for the remnant church and the pa uh, Pastor Chad's ministry, Father God, as he puts people back into society who've come out of prison, Father God, as he preaches the gospel to them, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and they're renewed, they're a new creation in Christ, Father God. I pray you'd make a way for them to have jobs and positions in the in the community, Father God, and I ask you just pour out tons of funds and finances for those houses, Father God that house those men and women, Father God. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray they be delivered and set free every one of them too, Father God. In Jesus' name, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name. Lord, I lift up every brother and sister in Christ who have, who have been bewitched, Father God. You know who they are, Father God. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray for them right now, Father God. They bewitched but be pulled off of them. Every veil, every scale, every blinder, every enchantment, every bewitchment, every sacrifice, every seance, every curse has been put against them. We pull down now. We cast it into the abyss in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. We ask for clarity of mind upon them, Father God, in Jesus' name, O Lord. In Jesus' name, Father God, right now, Father God, pull them out of witchcraft in any way, shape, or form, Father God, in Jesus' name, Lord. The devil portrays himself as an angel of light, Father God. Expose him now. We pull off all robes, all garments of the enemy. We expose them to the light now. In Jesus Christ's name, in the area of uh, bewitchment that's hit the body of Christ in any way, shape, or form. Including any false doctrines, Father God. In Jesus' name. All false doctrines be pulled off the body of Christ. In Jesus Christ's name, off their minds right now, Father God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I ask for that to be done, my God. Hallelujah. Praise be to you. Praise be to you. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, Father God. Of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Praise be to you. Praise be to you. Praise be to you, King of kings and Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I lift up Pastor Winston to you too, Father God. I pull off all bewitchment off him, Father God, in any way, shape, or form, Father God. In Jesus' name, and I bless that church right now, Father God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I pray you continue to root out and move all darkness out of that body, Father God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Father God. Lord, I lift up Steve and Diane to you, Father God, in Jesus' name. I pray they'd walk into their full destiny, Father God, in Jesus' name. Every arrow come out of Steve right now. Every fiery dart come out of him. I pull them all out of him now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They all fall out of him. In Jesus' name, Lord. I ask for strength upon him, Lord, to overcome the flesh. That's what I, you wanted. You were giving me that word, Lord, this week. Maybe that was just for myself, to discipline the flesh. Lord, I pray for the body of Christ to just be able to discipline their flesh, Father God. And put it in the subjection of the Holy Spirit, Father God. In Jesus' name, Lord. Lord, I lift up men and women of God to come into position of leadership all across the globe. All across the globe, Father God, in all facets of business, of economy, of commerce, of education, in the political scene, Father God, in leadership roles. Father God, move men and women of God into position, Father God, who stand for truth and righteousness and justice and morality, Father God. In Jesus' name, oh, spare the nations, Father God. Spare the nations from destruction, Father God. I cry out for the nation of Israel and the United States of America. I cry out for the nation of India and Africa, Father God. I cry out for all the nations across the globe. In Jesus' name, spare them, O oh Lord, from the evil one, Father God. Push back the evil one and his agenda to bring in the new world order, Father God. Let your government reign upon this earth, Father God, in Jesus' name. Let your ambassadors be filled with light and salt, Father God, in Jesus' name, and push back the enemy. I ask for your warring angels, the host of heaven, to be loosed right now, 
to bind up all evil that's been put upon the people, Father God, in Jesus' name. All poison that's been released upon the people. I loose the antidote now from heaven above in Jesus Christ's name, Lord. I ask for a detoxification of our flesh, Father God, from poison put upon the earth, Father God, and the land in Jesus' name, by the enemy's camp, Father God. In Jesus' name, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name. Right now, Father God, in Jesus' name, Lord. I ask for deliverance and inner healing of the church and the body of Christ, Father God. I pray for everybody that comes in touch with the man and woman of God that they be healed and delivered. I pray for your bride to be delivered and set free, Father God, in Jesus' name. I pray for the Lord of the harvest to send in labors into the field, Father, in Jesus' name, Father God. In Jesus' name. Blessed be your name. Holy, holy, holy is the Lamb. Jesus, Jesus, King of kings, Lord of lords. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Blessing and honor are yours. Blessing and honor are yours forever, forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord, for all things. I'm going to sing a prayer that's coming to my heart. It's a hymn. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Holy, holy is He. Sing a new song to Him who sits on heaven's mercy seat. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. With all creation I sing praise to the King of kings. You are my everything, and I will adore you. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come, yeah. With all creation I sing praise to the King of kings. You are my everything, and I will adore you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise be to you, Jesus, praise be to you, praise be to you, blessed be your name forever and ever, King of kings and Lord of lords. Hallelujah, 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 blessed be your name. Oh Lord, I cry out for the nation of Israel, Father God. I pray they be saved, Father God. I pray you speak to the Jewish people, Lord. I pray they come to know Messiah, Father God, in Jesus' name, Lord. I, sit, I pray in Jesus Christ's name, you would... Um, have your hand over Rabbi Schneider as he goes there and preaches the kingdom of Je Jesus to them, Father God, that they would receive you. Every veil, scale, and blinder be pulled off the people's eyes there, Father God, in Jesus' name. I pray they'd receive you in Jesus' name, Lord. In Jesus' name, Father God. Well, my brothers and sisters in Christ, let this be a day of prayer. Let this be a day of prayer for you. Pray, seek the Lord in Jesus Christ's name. Hopefully you'll catch this tomorrow or um, this week, during the week. I'll have it posted. A day of prayer is what the Lord was speaking to me, so pray. He's changing things up. Maybe he's wanting me to change this uh, service that we do every week. I'll be seeking him on that. Maybe he wants me to do more praying, you to pray with me. So God bless you all. Have a blessed week. I'll be back next, next week with whatever the Lord has. You know, I don't want to be so rigid that we have to do things a certain way. That's religion. Remember that. We want a relationship with the Holy Spirit. And if He desires us to do something new, so be it. In fact, yesterday when we were uh, praying for this woman, you know, at the end of it, the Lord was moving me to just worship Him and worship Him and praise Him. We started doing that, and that's really when things broke off of her. And uh, she started praising the Lord and... Uh, I know something was happening in the spiritual realm through that praise. There's much power when we praise the Lord. The enemy can't stand that either. So praise Him out loud with your tongue. 
God bless you. Have a blessed week. And uh, I love you all. Thank you for supporting the ministry. And uh, I'll say a blessing over you now. I know many people have got offline because we had te technical difficulties at the beginning, but hopefully you'll catch this and you'll be blessed by it uh, this week. So the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Shalom in Yeshua's name. Jesus' name, amen and amen. If this ministry has blessed you in the past, if you consider sending us a love offer in your tithe, we would appreciate that. We do have expenses to run this ministry. And uh, we do move those on to others in need, as you know. So God bless you all. I'm going to sign off for today. I'm going to continue to pray. And uh, love you all. God bless you. Have a blessed week.